Yeah, I mean, I think people like really don't give LeBron his A and R credit for the number of songs that he's made hot from just posting it during workouts and you know yeah. in his car or whatever else. Like, LeBron you know, I mean, I remember uh, I was signed to Two Chains and he had LeBron executive produce his album. You know, yeah, I heard so about I feel like, that. Like, I heard about that. Yeah, like LeBron don't really get his his hip hop dudes. I feel you know in terms of his contribution. No, he do it. Okay. Same. So so you drop that, and then Future drops 100 Shooters featuring Meek Mill and you. Uh-huh. And that becomes, I believe, the biggest song that you've ever been on, period. Definitely. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. That song is 55 million views on Spotify right now. Yeah. That shit go crazy. What was the story? I mean, and that's, that's actually Future song, right? Featuring yeah. you and, uh, and Meek. So, so how did that song come together? Um, we was in LA. We was in LA and just was, you know, we was just all just locked in and shit. Like Future just had the studio booked out and just had like every room in the studio. He like, shit, he got all the artists just in there just working and shit. He just put up on like, hey, I need you to do this verse for this shit. He brought me the song. I went in the other room and did the verse. Okay. Was Meek already on the song or did that come later? Um, I don't even think Meek was on the song yet. Okay, so he Meek did his verse later. Yeah. When you heard the final version of the song, what'd you think? A motherfucker, a movie. Hell yeah. I can I dog that bitch. That one nigga knew to stop playing with me. <laughs> oh god. That one nigga knew. All right, so so you, you had that under your belt. And then I think that same year Young Thug dropped uh, I'm Scared featuring Twenty One Savage yeah. and you. Yeah. How did that song come together? Shit, me and Slime was just in the studio. I said, we did a couple songs that day. That was the day we did uh, Grave Digger, and then we did that. But then, shit, I was just, I ain't know which one that I was gonna keep for my album, which one he was gonna use. And shit, and they just looked up one day, he had posted a snippet of the I'm Scared shit. And I'm like, oh shit. I guess that's the one he gonna put on his album, so yeah. Yeah, and I think that's your second biggest song that you're on. Is that like 19 million views? Uh, it shit, it might be. Yeah. Oh, shit. Mm -hmm. I think so. It might be. Yeah, well, I mean, that was just a big album for Thug. I mean, that, I think yeah. that album went number one. Yeah. Okay. So, so here you are. You, you now got big features. You got big solo songs. You got a deal with Epic. You're still fucking with Future. 2020 rolls around. I think first you dropped the 56 uh, Birds mixtape with DJ Esco. Uh, yeah. And then you and Southside dropped Demons R Us. And was that like your first like album album? Um, do you consider that an album or consider that a mixtape? That was a mixtape. What, Demons R Us? Yeah. Mixtape. Okay. I mean, these days, the difference between mixtape and album really is just like, personal opinion there's no yeah, actual it's, it's all the same it's the way streaming work like yeah yeah exactly it's all original music so i can rap it on other people's beats or whatever else you know yeah. uh Southside did the whole thing and, and you have been rocking with Southside since you were a teenager yep so so how did that you know whole project come together shit because we was been posted did that like we was been like we already came to like you know, we about to do an album together like it just was about the timing I'm like, shit, I woke up one day and like, hey man, we really about to do this shit. Where you at? I'm in Miami. All right, bet, here I come. I'm about to stay out there for a week. Went out there, got a house out there, brought a gang out there. We just locked in for a whole week and recorded the project. Right, and I mean, Southside's dope. Southside's yes. one of these like- Yeah, greatest. Yeah, I mean, you know, just one of these real standout producers. I mean, there's so many producers out there, but I feel like he's one of the ones that's really, has sort of been on the top of the heap for, for a he, minute now. Well, he got this shit popping, shit. Yeah. This whole sound, this whole 808 Mafia, that, them the ones, like. Yeah. And, uh, I mean, the features on this project was like, Future, of course, but then you got a little Uzi Vert. You got right. Chief Keef, which doesn't do a lot of features. Yeah. Young New. I still, I be talking Doug. about that shit now. It, that shit be crazy. I be, like, it be crazy that Sosa fuck with me. Like, cause that nigga don't, he don't like people. Like, he don't talk to nobody. Like right. he real, he real picky with who he fuck with. Well, you know, Sosa one of them goats. Like, so it's like, that was hard for him to be on my project. 
My fans. Uh, how, how did that even come together? Like, how, how did, was that you or was it Southside or who, nah, who really me. hooked that up? Yeah, it was Okay. Me. Yeah. So you just reached out to him and formed a relationship? Yeah, me and him. Like, cause he always, he fucked with my music. He been fucking with my music since he came out. Since he first mm. came out, like, all of them, like, Sosa, Fredo, Dirk, all them niggas been my niggas since back then. Like, I've been always, like, you know, we all been knew each other. I've been talking to them. We all been cool type shit. Okay, so when it was time for you to do the the project with uh, with Southside, it was like, oh, I just yo. felt like I just felt like, damn, I need a song with Chief Keith. Like I just wanted to do that. I had to do it. Right, and I mean, Babyface Ray's on it. Sway Lee's on it. Trippy Red is on it. Like this, this was really like just an all star cast <laughs> that you have on this project. Oh yeah, no, I went crazy on those features. Yeah, and I remember like. That was sort of, that project is what kind of got me back on your radar, you know, mm -hmm. got you back on my radar again. Because I mean, because I've been hearing about you here and there, but then it was like, oh shit, Southside doing a project with Doughboy. Oh shit, okay. Mm -hmm. Like, it was just, I just felt it was like a, it was a higher profile project than what you had been putting out in the yeah, last definitely. few years. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, man. I was, that was, I was happy. See, that, was, that was my biggest project up until just what I just did. But that right. was my biggest project. That's what I'm saying. And I think like that same year, uh, Drake had posted up a picture, an Instagram photo of you two in the studio together. That was, that was, no, nah, that was after that. After that. Demons R Us dropped at the end of 2020. And then that shit happened in like the middle of 2021. Okay. While nice. I was working on, oh really? Yeah. Okay, yeah, okay, great. Yeah, you're right, you're right. Yeah, I messed up the years on it. Okay, so how did the whole Drake thing come together? Shit, he been fucking with me since minivans. Like since really? minivans came out, the yeah, yeah. So yeah, it's Drake is really a like a thing. real, like a real music dude. Like, you know, what I mean, it don't matter about how big you are or how you know what kind of look he'll get by doing a song with somebody. I feel like he's one of these dudes that'll take someone who's really may not be the biggest artist, may not be known worldwide, but he fucks with them just because he fucks with them. You know, and and he'll do a song with that person, and even give them the song. Like I remember, like uh, Black Boy JB told me about that whole situation, how that their song came together, where he just did the song, told Black Boy to jump on, it, and then gave Black Boy the song. I was like, uh, so how we gonna? What are we gonna do? What are we gonna do? Like with towards who who song it is? He's like, you trust me, just give it to you. Just trust me, I'm gonna get. He just put just you. It just give it to you. Yeah. Like here you go. You you run with it. You know what I'm saying? So so when Drake reached out to you, you went to his studio? Yeah, I went to his house. Okay. And how much stuff did you guys record? Um shit, I don't, I don't know if we recorded that. Okay. So you, you don't want to answer the question basically. Oh really? Okay. <laughs> Fair enough. Fair enough. Well, at some point, I hope to hear a Drake and Doughboy song. At some point, shit, me too. <laughs> <laughs> it's been it's been a year or so since since that picture came out. So you know, I'm know. hoping something came out came out of it. But I guess we'll see. 